stands for Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, and it refers to an infant death that isn't explained by a different cause or an underlying illness. A colleague and I, Dr. Jim McKenna, who's at Notre Dame and has done a lot of work in regard to SIDS and various issues in that area, we have a paper coming out that looks at whether there is a developmental glitch of sorts between the infant's ability to move from autonomic breathing to volitional breathing. One of the projects that I'm working on right now is the distribution of infant sleepers uh, to families uh, whose babies would be at high risk of SIDS. The infant sleeper is kind of like a mini um, bassinet, but you can, you can bring it, you can carry it around because it's very small. You can carry it around um, so you can keep the baby with you. Uh, you know, one of the challenges for parents who have babies is if you hold them until they go to sleep, which, you know, again, in the literature is a, a controversy, but uh, holding them till they go to sleep is a, you know, is a nice experience in and of itself. But then the challenge I know as a parent is that you wake them up when you put them down. But if they're in this little bassinet, then you can keep them right there and, you know, they're right there and then you can have them right next to, uh, so that's, um, that's also an added benefit. The way that we communicate about the safe sleep space is that we engage with uh, programs in the community that are already talking with and working with moms who may have uh, high-risk pregnancies. And then the person who works directly with the families is the person who goes in and it, to the home and shares the information with the mom and goes back and um, looks to see if there are any questions and uh, you know how that sleeper is working out. People uh, in those programs provide a lot of education about safe sleep and about breastfeeding and all aspects of child development. So this becomes another part of that message that they can provide um, for moms. And the work that we've been doing is uh, very initial work to see whether this idea about a sleeper would be acceptable and used by, um, by the moms for whom our efforts are directed. I am very vested in the idea that there are, are many people who will choose to co-sleep with their, uh, or bed share with their infants. Um, and they, we don't talk very much in terms of health messaging about how to make that, that um, space safe. So a good deal of my research focuses on providing that message. The sleepers themselves provide an alternative for people who would bed share, but who um, have infants who are at higher risk of SIDS. So ultimately, what I would like to see is this, this as um, something that is readily available and kind of becomes part of our, our culture.